Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see some of the other HTML5 form features. Those are meter and the progress bar. Let's try to see in this video. First of all, we will try to see about the progress bar. So what is this? What are these meters and the progress bars? So meters and the progress bars are visual representation of the numeric values. In order to give the visual representation for the numeric values, we will be using this meters and the progress bar. So out of these two things, first we will see about the progress bar. So let's create a file here. Meter.html. I am creating meter.html. And in this one, so HTML5. So first let's create a form. So I am creating a form here. And in this form, let's create a field set. So in this field set, I will be having legend region so meter and the progress bar so i will keep it as a meter first for the time being so first we are having a label so this one is a progress progress and the progress so now let's try to show this one so progress bar what this progress bar will do is it will represent a value that changes over time up to a maximum value specified by the max attribute so normally if you try to see whenever we are seeing the content loading like that and whenever you want to show it that one so whenever the file get file is getting downloaded so you'll be showing something like zero percent downloaded ten percent downloaded twenty percent downloaded so like that and also at the bottom we will also show a progress bar report such that when that bar is completely filled means so hundred percent it is downloaded so to give that visual representation of that one, we will be using this progress bar. So progress bar, we will be having an element that is nothing but progress element. So if you try to see for this one progress element, let's try to see the output. Now if you try to see the output for this one. So that is the thing we are able to see. So if it doesn't mention anything. So here the progress report will show in a such a way that it is still loading. Now let's say that the max value is 100. So I am taking the max value is 100. So now if you try to see the max value is 100, then also it is, it is showing like that. So now what I want to do is the present value. So the present value is 75. Okay. Now when you mention it as a 75, now see out of the maximum value, we are able to see that 75% of this one is filled with the blue color. So this is nothing but a progress bar. So in order to create the progress bar, we will be using this progress element. So where we will be implementing is we will be implementing for anything that requires the progress reporting such as the percentage of the total files downloaded or the number of questions filled out in a questionnaire. So in those scenarios we will use this progress thing. Now the problem comes is here does it have the support for the older browsers. So obviously it don't have the support for the older browsers. In order to show for this uh, sub fallback for this older browsers what we will try to do is so here we will write in a such a way that 75 out of 100. Now, now if the progress is supported by the browsers means so whatever the content that we have written in between this progress element so that is excluded. Whereas in our older browsers like IE9 so here you will be able to see the output that instead of showing the bar it is showing 75 by 100. So that means the content what is present inside this one 75 by 100 it is showing this one. So this is how we can use the fallback for the progress report. So this is all about the progress element. So it has two values that is max and the value. If you don't mention here the value means so it will be loading. It will be showing that uh, moving to and fro left and right it will move. So it will show like that. If you mention the value and the max value then it will show the percentage that has been covered. So this is about the progress element. And the next one comes the meter. So what is this meter? A meter bar represents a fixed value in a range delimited by the max and min values. This value is usually rendered as a bar and to know that how bar looks we compare the value to some other set values. For example let's say that when you want to see the password strength. Okay so we will have the password strength meter. So good, worse, better something like that right. So for using that one we will be using this uh, meter thing. I will try to show you. So before knowing this one, so we need to know some of the attributes for this meter. So first one is the min and max 
and that and another one is the low and high so if you try to, if i try to show you so here i will use this p and here i will be having a label so here i will show the meter and for this one we will use the meter here sorry so meter we will use this meter so for this meter we need to first mention the min and max values let's say that min is a 10 and the max is the 100 let's assume so now we have the lowest value so lowest value is nothing but so we need to we need to understand here the low and high values will be in between the min and max value so now the low value will be something around 30 so if it is uh, low, less than 30 means it is low so the high value means nothing but if you take more than uh, 70 or something like this so we can take it as high value so now this is the low and high value and min and max value if you try to see the output so here this is the meter now what i want to do is i want to add a value in a such a way that the value is something around 20 okay now if you try to see the output so this meter is yellowish and it is in the 20 now if you try to take it as something around uh, uh, between low and high that is uh, that is nothing but 50 let's try to take it as a 50 now if you try to see this is in the green color now if i take greater than 80 so that is nothing but 90 so that means high greater than high now if i try to see the output it will be again in the yellow color now if you try to observe here you need to observe some of the things like lower part of the range so here you need to understand here so three things so here you need to understand the three things that is nothing but lower part medium part and the higher part okay so these are the three things you need to understand it higher part lower part medium part and the higher part so lower part when it will come is so when the value so the value is between min and low okay when it is between min and low so then it is called as a lower part so between min and low means 10 and 30 so when the value is between 10 and 30 then it is called as a lower part so medium part is the value is between low and high okay low and high so this is called as a medium part so that means the value is between low and high is called as a medium part so whereas this higher higher part is when the value is between max and high okay so when the value is between max and high so that means uh, 80 to 100 so this is called as an higher part so these are the three things you need to understand it so we have an uh, now we we are able to see that so when we are having a value so that is me lower part that is nothing but min and low so when you are having so let's try to make it as a comment here or otherwise we can keep it um, i will try to make it as p element at the bottom so you need to understand these things then only we can understand about this uh, meter thing so now you will be having a lower part so we can take this one as a lower part uh, medium part right so here i can close it and here i can open this one p tag and here i can close something here and i can take this p tag and here also i can close it so now we depending on these things we need to understand this thing now if i try to see the output so these are the lower parts now let's say that let's take the value now the value is around uh, something like uh, something that 20 so the value is in the lower part that means between the min and low so min is 20, 10 and 30 so 20 is in between the 10 and 30 so when it is in the lower part it will be in obviously what i can say so it is in the red color uh, see, sorry it is in the yellow color so now if i try to make it as something uh, less than 10 means so let's say make it as 5 so what will be in the color so it is nothing is there so let's try to take it as uh, let's say uh, lower uh, increasing lower so 35 that is mean that means it is a medium part 30 to 80 now it is in the green color so whatever the value is between the low and high it is taken as the medium part means it's a safe part now if it is in the higher part again so that means max and high the 80 to 100 means 90 so then also it will be in the yellow color only why because so it is not in the medium part so medium part is taken as the average thing now when we can display this red color yellow color and green color so when we can dis display this one is 
so we can control that one using a parts that is nothing but optimum value so using this optimum uh, optimum attribute we can define this one so let's say that so we have defined an optimum so when here also in this optimum we have three raises three things raises so here if i try to give in a such a way that optimum if this optimum value is in the lower part so if this optimum is lower part so lower part means nothing but here in this lower part means then if it is if it is in the lower part if it is in the lower part means then the lower range is considered to be the prefer part so optimum is in so then lower range is prefer and medium range is average so medium range is medium range is average and the last one is higher range so this is the worst part higher range is considered as the worst part so this is the thing you need to understand so when this optimum is in the lower part then lower range is the preferred one medium is the average and higher is the worst so if you keep the optimum as the lower means then higher is considered as the worst thing so for example let's say that uh, lower part so between the lower part means between the 10 and 30 i will try to make the lower part is something around optimum as 20 so the it is optimum is in the lower range that is nothing but min and low so lower range is considered as the preferred thing and higher range higher range is considered as the worst thing so if you try to see here see the worst thing is in the red color now if you try to see it in the something around uh, min and low something around 50 let's try to take 50 means it is in the medium range it is in the yellow color now if you take it as something around uh, 25 so it is in the lower part so then it is considered as the green color so when the optimum depend uh, depending on the optimum if it is in the lower part means the lower range is considered as the safest thing preferred thing average is considered as the medium is considered as the average and higher is the worst part for example let's say that if optimum is in the optimum is in medium part so medium part is here so then what will be the reason so then lower range so the lower range is considered as average lower range is considered as average part and also the medium range is considered as the medium range so medium range is considered as preferred so it will be in yellow color uh, sorry sorry green color and the last one is the higher range will be the worst part so the same thing sorry the higher range is a, the higher range will be the medium part only higher range will be preferred thing not sorry average it will be in the yellow color so now when the optimum is in the medium level means between the uh, high and low uh, between the high and low means 30 to 80 if it is the optimum range is between this one means then lower range is the uh, average part and the medium is the preferred one and higher range is also the average part so now if, uh, for example let's say that uh, optimum range is something around 50 so the value is 25 it is in the lower range so this is nothing but average part so if you try to take it as 45 now this is in the medium range it will be in the green color if you take it as something around 90 it is in the higher range it will be in the yellow color only okay now let's try to take another one is the higher range when this optimum is in the higher range so when this optimum is in the higher range so when this optimum is in the higher range now first one is lower range so when you take the lower range value so it, is, it will be the average part okay sorry lower range value will be the worst part okay we are in the higher range right so now medium range medium range will be the average normal average and the higher range will be the preferred one this is simple so now if you try to take the optimum value as something around seven uh, let's say that 80 to 100 right 85 i'm taking 85 means then the value is 90 is in the green color fine so now if you want it red color means 65 let's say it will be in the yellow color and if you want to get red color means let's say let's take it as 25 now it will be in the red color why because it is in the lower range so this is how the meter rules and regulations will be there so first you will be the having the lower part that is nothing but min and low medium part between low and high higher part is between max and high the optimum is an another attribute which you give the optimum level 
the color of this meter will be changing so when this optimum is in the lower part means in between these values means then the lower range is preferred medium range is average and highest part is the worst part so in the same scenario you will be having all those things also so this is all about the meter so this is the meter meter element so in order to show that red color green color and all those things we use these type of scenarios hope you understood about this meter concept uh, and also the progress bar if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you